Hello everyone, my name is Tim Giovanni and I'm the Director of Training at Tim Boom China. I wish to introduce you to the intermediate courseware provided by Tim Boom China. We are going to go over a couple areas within Tim Boom Harmony. We're going to talk about color correction. We're going to talk about compositing in 3D. We will talk about making particles and as well go ahead and doing some special effects compositing and cover special animation techniques. This class is for intermediate users that know how to use Toon Boom Harmony but wish to push it to the next level using compositing and other tool sets inside the software. We're in China and it's important that your style is maintained and it's very rewarding to do animation in your style with your idea. That's why I, I have Toei Animation. Toei Animation is very important because they did animation in their style. The artists and the team worked for original concept and now they generated their Japan looking style. But I think it's important to say that um, every person, every artist has a style or a look. And once they get it and they get the idea, then you can animate it. And that's what Harmony is for. Different styles of animation is used in Harmony. We have streamlined system for compositing. And of course, we have traditional cutout animation. We have 3D animation integrated in Harmony, which we're going to show. Okay, let's go through some examples. Here is one example that we're going to have. What is important about this is that it is in 3D world space. You see the camera move. That is because the elements are in 3D. What else you see is the water. It is a filter called refraction. There we go. We have a 3D move, but also we have shadows and highlights that we're going to work on. This one I want to show. This is a guy that works in Cartoon Saloon. He's actually working on his own project, My Little Pony Rigs. This is a little bit old, but you see how we're going to have some 3D comp with cutters. This is not 3D sphere. He put a cutter on the ortho lock that allows it to look like this. That's a really nice trick. This is not master controller. This is an ortho lock. Castlevania was done in harmony by the powerhouse animation company. And they have a lot of compositing that they do. A lot of 2D animation, but what I wanted to show is color correction, color effects, all this stuff that you can do in AE, you can do in harmony as well. This is something that we're going to go over, which is color correction, color grade. For animation like ink and paint, we're going to go over, over some advanced ink and paint as well. I'm interested in going into intermediate topics. So we will go into like how they do the shading, how they do all this as well. Okay, Hal? so we're going to talk about some of this intermediate topics. The reason why I show this one is because the Dragon Prince was a perfect combination of 3D and 2D. They used Toon Boom Harmony for all the special effects and some of the layouts and compositing in order to get the effects. I heard the characters are 3D. Everything else was done in Harmony just to get the effect shot. So I'm going to show this one and I'll show you the effects. We're also going to probably talk about making your own texture line and it's something that we know how to do a very good examples i have shown through video and if you want to look online then i recommend looking at netflix amazon nickelodeon warner brothers and the projects they have done we like to pick projects that are winners that have won awards because this helps you pick awards and the best one so far is mercury filmworks Mercury Filmworks is based in Ottawa and it has a steady animation cycle uh, and grows like every year using Toon Boom Harmony. So we show this because this is a successful animation studio. 
And these are the ideas that you can take from to get your own, you know, successful idea. So uh, the roles of compositor is effects, composition, color correction. They call compositor advanced artists because they do more than rigging. They do the look and the feel of a TV series. This is a class file called the campsite. We have talked about it before, but in intermediate, we're going to do compositing. We are focusing on the water refraction. Let's take a look real quick. There we go. You will not be able to see the water distortion in OpenGL. You only can see the water distortion in rendering. So I'll, I'll explain. Okay, now the next trick uh, I want to show, we're gonna go and talk about the um, refract. In After Effects and in Photoshop, we have something called refract, which bends the bends an image to the positive and negative of the other image. So if it's black and white, then that will affect the image underneath it. So it bends, it, it basically bends the light or bends the image. So we use refract a lot in compositing. I remember using it a lot in TV and uh, in movies using Nuke and in After Effects we use Refract and then it's the same one in uh, Tomb of Harmony, Refract. So it, it basically takes the black and the white and it bends the light based off the black and the white and that's how we are able to make the effect, this effect here. So it's a really cool trick. Um, I use refract for a lot of cool things. So I will let how explain like this one, you'll see a lot the refract node because you can use the refract node to even make characters look 3D by using black and white. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring in an image and I'm going to see if I can get this image to replace this image for a better water. Okay. Black and white. I bring it here. This is the example. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Mm hmm. I see. This image should be a little bit bigger. So again, I will go to my OpenGL. Take a look at my shape here. Okay. Remember, turning off my animation, right? So I could make it bigger. Let's rotate it that way. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's an example. Again, using black and white, I take out my TVG. Let's see if it works. I put it in here. Uh, let's turn this down. There we go. So again, just like AE, right? There's my black and there's my white. Mm -hmm. uh, and it should take it and refract, basically bend the water based on the light. This goes into here. There's my refract. Okay. There's my refract node and let's go to my display. I will, I will show this more later, but I want everyone to know that this is a very good node channel swap to help swap the channels in order to get, um, right. UV maps or red, green, blue, and I'm going to go ahead and do some more experimentation with this. Uh, the only problem is I'm not very familiar with it in Chinese, so it's hard for me to get the right mode. But in any case, the goal is, yes, I can probably take a JPG, make the JPG into an alpha channel, cut it out, blur it, refract it. 15 minutes, so I will just say this is a good note and refract is a good note. And I recommend trying to use channel swap in order to take um, I want to get this. That's why you see me clicking. Mm -hmm. I want this. Save the image. There we go. Thank you. So this is another example. Oh, save the image, please. Save as. Yeah. 
There's a lot of lot of things I need to show how, so I'm trying to be fast, but this is good practice as well. Yeah, so this needs a alpha map too, that's why. A red, green, and blue will not just work. So it's all about the alpha. So let's use a channel swap. Channel swap. There's another one I like too. Red, green, blue. Yeah, this is another one. Channel selector. I select the red. Put it in the channel swap. I think this is red, right? Yeah. Red to alpha. And that gives me an alpha channel. Uh, I wonder why it won't give me an alpha channel. I have to think why it's not pushing it out. Uh, yes, I will think about that. I use the red channel and I use the red channel only. So I turn off the green and I turn off the blue. Uh, which page which page you use? The no map? Just the, just the uh no, just the JPG. You can use just the JPG. Oh yeah, there's the yeah, normal there's map. No map. Yeah. Uh the problem with this picture is it's a JPG. So don't use JPGs. The quality is not good. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's an example. And then here, alpha channel, alpha channel from the red, alpha channel from the blue, and then I turn off the other one. So that way it has the hole. It can make holes. And then with that, then I can go ahead. Yeah, you see the holes? Yeah. Now I have an alpha map. Uh, the quality is not good, so that's really poor quality. But then I go ahead and do a Gaussian blur. Give it a little bit better quality. There you go. And that's really an alpha map. So that's an alpha map from the image. And then I could take the alpha map and put it into the refract node. And then from the refract node, I can get the water effect. There you go. So the theory of using your training from compositing works in Harmony. The same thing I would do in Nuke is the same thing I would do in Harmony. It will, that's what I want to show is that it should be almost exactly the same because in the compositing system, it's the same mathematics. And we're going into the intermediate class knowing that this is going to be the same mathematics. It is uh, 16 bits per channel, half bloat depth. That's important to know for compositing. Okay, so that's the end of this class. The homework is to... Okay, team. Okay, thank you, everyone. That's the end of our class today. I hope you learned something.